use McLaurin's theorem to determine the first four non-zero terms in the expansion of f of x equals to 1 minus exponent minus x from 1 to hence evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 1 minus exponent minus x over x dx giving the answer in fractional form McLaurin, McLaurin's theorem So McLaurin's theorem, we have f of x equals to f of naught plus x f of naught prime plus x squared f of double prime a 2 factorial plus x cubed f of triple prime over 3 factorial plus x raised to 4 f of 4 prime over 4 factorial so this is um, the McLaurin series then from here we've been given that f of x equals to 1 minus exponent minus x okay so um, f of x equals to 1 minus exponent minus x now when we substitute where there is x we substitute with the zero so we shall have f of naught will be equal to so we have exponent zero we replace this by zero so it will be exponent zero which is one so we have one minus one so here it will be, it will be zero uh -huh. so at this point we differentiate this we differentiate f of x so when we differentiate this we have f of x prime so when you differentiate this one we get zero and then when you differentiate x prime minus x we have a coefficient of x here which is negative one you multiply by negative exponent x so you have negative one times minus exponent so this will be positive exponent minus x when you differentiate this equation therefore where there is x will replace with the zero so this will be zero so exponent zero is one this will be one uh -huh. so we differentiate this one for the second time f of double prime so when you differentiate x prime minus x get minus x prime minus x therefore well, this is prime so this would be so whether is whether is x will substitute with zero so when you substitute here is zero so it would be 1 exponent 0 is 1 minus of this will be minus 1 uh -huh. so differentiate this one for the third time so when you differentiate this negative 1 times negative it will be positive so here it will be exponent minus x therefore when we substitute x with the zero this will be one uh -huh. we differentiate for the fourth time when you differentiate this you get 
minus x plus minus x. Therefore, when you subtract the rest, where this x with the zero is minus minus one. Uh -huh. So the question was to determine the first. The question was to determine the first non-zero terms, the first four non-zero terms in the expansion of this. Okay, I think we have one, two, three. Okay, so we have four, eight, four. So we can now substitute in this equation. We can now substitute in the equation. So our f of uh, our f of x which is one minus x parent minus x will be equal to um, our f of x naught is this one is zero then plus we have x f of naught prime f of naught prime is one times x so we have x then plus we have x squared our f of double prime f of double prime is negative one so we have plus negative um, x squared over two factorial mm -hmm. and then plus x cubed uh, we have f of triple prime which is positive one but we have x plus x cubed all over three factorial this is two factorial then we have plus or f of this is negative one so it will be negative x raised to four or four factorial uh -huh. So this equals to x. So this will be minus x squared all over 2, 2, then plus x cubed all over 3 factorial is 6, then minus x raised to 4 all over 4 factorial is 24. So this is now the expansion of one minus x plus minus x. So this will be the result. Mm -hmm. Then from one to hence evaluate the integral of the one has evaluated the integral of this. integral of um, 0 to 1 1 minus exponent x over x dx this equals so this we replace with this replace with this there this result so here we have integral of 0 to 1 x minus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 6 minus minus x raised to 4 over 24 over x dx so this equals to um, equals to the integral of 0 1 so we have x over x minus 
x squared all over 2x plus x cubed all over 6x minus x raised to 4 all over 24x then dx is equals to the integral this now will be 1 x divided by x we have 1 minus this x cos of the 1 so minus x over 2 plus x squared all over 6 minus x cubed all over 24 dx So when we integrate this here we have when we integrate one we have x minus when we integrate x all over two you get x squared all over four when you integrate x squared you get x cubed all over now this it will be 18 minus x raised to four all over 24 times 4 that is 90 96 then the limits 1 0 so we substitute the limits so this will be 1 minus 1 raised to 2 is 1 1 all over 4 plus 1 cubed 1 all over 18 minus 1 all over 96 so when you substitute the 0 everything will be 0 so we have this we can use our calculator One plus one, one minus one minus one minus one over four. One minus one over four. plus one over eighteen minus one over ninety six. equals to 229 over 288 thank you for watching